everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a look with this beautiful palette right here. This is the Beauty Bay Extended Tutorials palette. Um, and yeah, it's such a beautiful palette. I'll show you on the inside. Of course, you're going to see inside the watching the video before they show it, but such a pretty palette. I tried to list all the products, um, all the eye products I used in the description box. Please make sure to like this video if you've actually liked it um, or if you actually like it. <laughs> uh, subscribe to my channel and yeah, bye. Welcome back to my channel, guys. By now, you already probably know by the title and the intro of this video what this video is actually going to be. But it's going to be a tutorial using the UK Tutorials it's Beauty Bay palette. And I'm so excited to use this, actually. I have already used this before, but only once. For today, I am going to maybe do like a pinkish look or something like that. Yeah. So this is how the palette looks, by the way. Oh my god, it's so freaking beautiful. Can I just Oh, to show you guys. Do you see that? See how pretty that is. I actually love this spot. I wasn't sure at the beginning when I first saw it, but it's actually up close. The shimmers are actually really, really, really beautiful. You have to actually like play around with them and test them on and swatch them to actually know how beautiful these are. Because by someone telling you, you're just not gonna know. Anyway, and this is the box if you want to know. It's so freaking pretty, isn't it? Yeah, so that's the only pink, basically, and then that's red and it's kind of peachy. I'm using the, I can find it here, yes, the um, Revolution Ultimate Eye Base, my primer in white, this over here. I'm gonna actually set this but with a brush, not with a sponge. Yeah, I have my RCMA powder. Use this to kind of quickly set. When you feel like you've put on too much powder on your eyelids, which I have not, sometimes I just like to kind of go back in with my sponge and just press so that I don't have too much. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, I really want to start with blend and snap. I'm just I'm a pink girl. I'm obsessed with pink. I'm gonna use the Morphe M441. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Take a brush. This one is from Murphy as well, but from Jacqueline Hell too. From their collection. It's kind of like a baby pink when you're blending out. Usually when I want to do like fun and crazy looks, I don't like to set it to set my base or concealer or whatever I'm using so that um, the colors show better. Anyway, yeah, I'm trying to use the pink as like a transition shade, but also like a pop and crease shade. Pop and what is that? And then I'm trying to kind of blend um, the inner corner to the brow that Nikki, Nikki Tutorial does. No, the color is not really like staying in there. I swear this is like a palette though, like, I mean, the formula is really good, I just don't understand what's happening right now. Let's watch some of these colors actually. Oh my god. Wow, look at that. Oh my god. Okay, I want both of those colors on my eye right now. Oh, we may do blue underneath, actually. Does that work or whatever? I'm gonna make it work. Okay, you know what? This going to be guy. I want to use this makeup color. Let's see what it does. And I'm blending with the previous brush I use for the pink. What I do with colors when I want the most color payoff is I press and pat onto the skin, right? This is 
what Nikki does sometimes. It's like, I see her do this. I'll move the brush holds it like that and just that. <laughs> um, and yeah, after that, I just basically blend. Anyway, I'm going to go into basic or whatever it's called. I'm just taking this color and going underneath the brow because it's a skin tone shade so that I'll kind of blend. I have a tendency to always, and I mean always, take the color high up. But I love that look, you know? Look at that as blending with a big fluffy brush. I'm using the shade, so I'll show you. This brush, I'm picking up a lot of product now. Yeah, I don't care about fallout. And, oh my god, those are just so much use. <laughs> So I'm putting this color slash out just like a purpley, kind of weedy to dark purple color. I'm gonna put that in the other corner and take it a bit into the crease. Um, not too much because I still want to leave it on the other edge, the darkness I mean. Hmm. Okay, so with this brush, the Murphy M441, yeah. I'm going to mix together the pink and the red. Yeah. I'm actually gonna take just the red. But what's going on there? Like, what's going on there? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna need to look on that area. I need a black, guys. I do need a black. I'm gonna take some on my ring finger. Just that, that area. That, see that? It already is darker. They are so easy to blend, though. Like, you know, honestly, I thought I was gonna like this more than I do. I mean, there's a, I don't know how to explain it. I need dark, darkness, I need darkness. Okay, we need black in this. I'm gonna go with black, I always go with black in the water lines. This is actually the Essence Kajal Pencil. Just putting it in the waterline. Okay. I'm putting it in the waterline and also um, between the lashes. Yeah, it's in the waterline, like underneath. I'm gonna try to put it in my upper, upper waterline too. I'm gonna take the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH43 brush. Um, just called the eye definer brush, I believe. And I'm just going to take the blue color, which is called Amsterdam, which we will see somewhere on the screen. Um, I'm actually gonna clean that first. Okay. Putting it on the lower lash line. I'm blending the black line that I, I did a while ago um, and dragging it lower and outwards. You know, when you have a base underneath, it really does help like, keep the color there. And it seems to be working even though I don't have any base underneath there. Yeah! Oh my god, the blue is beautiful. Blue is my favorite from the palette, honestly. You know, sometimes I have to do kind of a wing with my lower lash line. Okay. 
I have like this blue liner and I want to see if it works. This, um, with this look I mean, this is the Max Factor Masterpiece High Precision Liquid Liner, Liquid Eyeliner in Sapphire number 30. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna just like do a bit of black on the like lash line. Okay, so before I continue doing the um, blue liner, I'm going to do the shimmer on the lid and then we'll move on to the lower lash line because I keep forgetting about that. This is like um, Morphe with Jacqueline Hill brush that I have, the JH41, with the shades quiet. Oh my god, so freaking pretty. I'm just going to wet the brush with the Rose Fizz Makeup Mixing Spray by Revolution instead of like using the eyeshadow base just to see like what happens without like actually carving the crease and stuff like that so let's see this is so freaking pretty oh my god like this is insane oh my god you see that like do you see that oh um, i'm gonna wear the brush for more so it sticks to my eyelid as well on the brush. This pink has like a blue shift. That's why it's so universal. Just putting it basically on the like on my inner third, inner third of my eye. Like, this is insane how beautiful this color is. I'm not even kidding right now. Like, it doesn't look like for a freaking finger. I mean, just like sticks there. the formula of this is it glitter is it like tiny shimmer maybe big shimmer i think it's like tiny glitter oh my god i'm just scared it's gonna get in my eye though do the same thing on the other side and i'll show you come up to show you the lower lash line again oh and by the way i'm using the revolution pro it doesn't have anything else on it. It's just the Revolution Pro liquid liner. Um, I didn't put I didn't put any blue liner in the inner corner. Just left it there basically. I'm just putting a bit of black. I honestly do this always. I mean, even even with just shadow, I need to put black on the lash line when I want to wear lashes. Yeah, in the inner corner basically. Just the black. Putting this black liner on the lash line, just fading it into the wing. Okay, guys, so now I'm using the same dark blue shade on the lower lash line on both sides. I'm just freaking waterline. <laughs> no, seriously, no, like what? Okay, up to the inner corner. And what I'm gonna do. Um, and also grab a tiny pencil brush like this, the Margaret Jacqueline Hill J38, and take the shade Plot Twist, which is like a big shade, and put it like on just underneath that. Not really, not really on the wing though, just underneath the eyes. Um, this is gonna be covered with like face makeup but we'll redo it. Anyway for the inner corner 
Um, I'm gonna take a brush. There she is. Morphe, the Jaclyn Hill again, JH32. There's the shade by Ivy. Now I use that. I don't think I can use this on my face though, like, because I feel it's highlighter. Wait, why does that look pink? Is that a pink shade by me? Yeah, definitely pink. It's definitely pink toned. I thought it was like an icy white shade. Yeah, it's a definitely like not icy white shade actually. It's a pink, the pink toned shade, which actually works perfectly well for this look, but I don't know, I just wish it was more white. So I can actually highlight with this because I don't know. It just looks pink like the other color we have on our lid. Of course not exactly like it, but somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna get a smaller brush. Um JH42, just a small brush like this. Um, you don't need anything big. I'm gonna grab the same shade. It's gonna lightly go up here on the brow, like lightly with it. And remember, always go like downward, not hiding the brow. So that if you have any hair, you kind of, you know, stay down. Okay, guys, I think I'm done with the eyeshadow. Right. I'm gonna take out this look so far. I like it a lot. I love the colors. I love the pinks. Okay. I'm gonna go off camera and do my base, do my skin and lashes. I just took my base and bronzer, and I went out like, you use this palette again on my face. So I'm gonna use this shade right here. It's called The Light and Snap. I would match with my eyes. It would match with my eyes and everything would match. So let's do it with my Morphe with Jacqueline Hill Gage 04. Whew. I don't know, that's kind of going to be a little bit too pink, isn't it? Can we mix it with Zomer? I'm going to mix it with Zomer actually. Because it looks too pink. I don't care. I don't even care if it's too pink. Like, I like it. I like it. So with blush, you always take it out, kind of. Um, but not too much. I like to put blush everywhere, so. It's better to apply a little bit and then build, build up instead of applying a lot. You don't know like how to blend it out after or what to do with it. I have to grab a powder brush that I kind of apply compact wet powder with. Should I show you the highlight? I'm using for highlighter. The um, Self X Revolution Highlighter Palette. And mine is kind of, um, the lips kind of broken because I did really fell on it. But anyway, I'm using this color. Can you see, like, that's my favorite shade. I mean, I love all these three, but it's my favorite. I mean, come on, like, <laughs> it has a big dent in it, you can tell. Oh my god. All right, so I'm gonna go off camera and do mascara. Um, lashes, and I'll be right back. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Revolution Big Lash XL Volume Waterproof Mascara. And for lashes, I'm gonna be using the Revolution The Foam Mink Collection Lashes and Minky. Let's see that. I've actually um, used them once before. In my like, Valentine's Day look, I did. Anyway, I'm gonna go put on my mascara and put lashes off of camera, and of course my lips, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I just applied my mascara and my lashes. They are so pretty. I also love the packaging. It's so freaking cute. It's like a baby pink color. Oh my god. 
just gloss on. Anyway guys, I'm wearing the Floor Mart, which they have the best appliers in my opinion, they're, they're the best. The Floor Mart Wear Perfect Planner in the shape Nut Cookie, I love that name. Number 236, the um, Revolution, I think it's called Kiss Lipstick in the shade I Icon, yes, I got a lot of this song, it's so cute. It has also a lips, a lip, lips on it. It has lips on the actual tube. And lastly, I'm wearing the Revolution, what is this one? Plumping Lip Gloss with Vitamin E. Pug Bomb in the shade Candy. Oh, this is my favorite lip gloss ever. Anyway, do you guys like this look? I love this look. Oh, let me just show it to you. Let's go with glasses. It's so pretty. Such a pretty look. I'm obsessed with it. I don't need to go now. <laughs> it's a so late. I need to go and take pictures. But um, what do I think of this beautiful palette that came? Tutorials. X Beauty Bay. Um, honestly, I think it's such a beautiful palette and the package is so beautiful. Oh my god, the packaging is my favorite part. The colors are beautiful. Um, this really pigmented. Yeah, I hope you guys like this look. Please like this video if you've enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to my channel and yeah, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful look. And yeah, I, I'm actually so happy that I did like pink, pink and reddish pink. They're, you can't even say red, but bye. Thank you so much for watching.